Hey everybody, Jonathan Blair here in this weird kind of scene. Um, what I'm trying to experiment with here this morning is doing asteroids with the Mini 3 Pro and trying to get exposure right. It's always been a bit of a challenge because if you expose for the ground where your subject is in the asteroid shot, and then get up there and take the sphere, it's overexposing when it gets up into the sky um, because you've exposed for the darker environment down where, you know, where you start the shot. So I think auto, shiver, we don't do auto, um, might actually be the right way to roll on this. And I'll just do two examples. I'm going to do one in pro, best I can kind of juggle the exposure, and then one in uh, auto mode, and we'll see how that goes. All right, let's get the little guy on the ground and launch him here. All right, very good. Let's put him in Asteroid, which is a quick shot, if I recall correctly. All right, and Asteroid. There you go, so you can see that's too dark. Now right here, this is 180 rule. 1 over 60, shooting in pro. Let's take a look at this again. 25 frames, that'd be 1 over 50. Interesting. I can only do 25, so it should be 1 over 50. All right, let's do that. A little better for exposure, but you can barely tell. And we'll turn him a little bit. And go ahead and select. Yeah, it's too dark. You can see it. So, if I expect, well, let's just do the experiment here. So, I'm going to go ahead and run it. It has that big fella. Alright. So, we've got a dark subject on the ground. Not something you could use without going back in and tweaking the, tweaking the video there and making it brighter, at least for that section. But once he gets up there, He's exposed pretty good. Uh, it might be a little overexposed. Let's see what happens when he starts shooting. And I don't mean directly into the sun like that. But, you know, overall, yeah, overall the exposure is not bad. Let me see something here. I could see an adjustment. Mm, no, my imagination. And of course it won't be adjusting because it's in static settings. So let's just see what we get. But yeah, obviously directly into the sun is going to be really bright and overexposed, like that. But, you know, you got a shot, and when this is done, when I after I film both of these, I'm going to play them back in the order I recorded them in. So the first uh, asteroid that I play back will be the pro mode with uh, darker exposure at the ground like you see here now. All right. He also isn't super accurate when he returns. I found that the GPS accuracy is not really tight on Mini 3 Pro. It's not, it's acceptable, but it's not tight like it is on other drones like Air 2S and the like. So you can't have precision landing. And I guess they haven't even tried, maybe because of the, you know, the tendency of wind to blow it around. All right, so let's get into auto. You can see already I'm exposed decently, certainly better, and let's bring them down a tiny bit if we can, just for a better shot, and go. Alright, so, here I am, Mr. Casual, leaning against the pole. That's what George Thorger was doing when he was supposed to be looking for a job. Hopefully my microphone isn't tapping against anything here, and I'm getting good audio. So there he goes. Another thing I noticed, notice 170 feet. A year two never went that high in an asteroid. Maybe 125 or 130 feet. It never went. This one went 164 on the first couple today. Since I restarted him, he's doing 170 on these shots. So that's interesting. Anyway, he'll come back 
you'll see, you know, you can see the exposure as it's recording here. It's, um, oh wow, you see that adjustment? So, just before it took the shot, you could see it darkening um, the exposure, you know, and that I guess was by just increasing shutter speed. But it did that on several of them. As it was going around snapping the shot, you would see the, ex the exposure suddenly darken. It would take the shot and then it would go. So there we are, back from our mission. And I am going to, as I said, play these back for you guys. And tell me what you think. I think order is pretty much the only way to go on these. Um, and unfortunately, 1080p stuff isn't the greatest. But this is why Asteroid is not as loved as it could be. I think it's a great effect. I think it's better than most of the quick shots, but the way it you know, doesn't allow us to shoot in better parameters uh, and at higher resolution is a problem. Anyway, take a look at them, tell me what you think, and I hope you found it useful. Catch you in the next one.